What's up guys, this is Raymond here from Jailbreaking Boys on YouTube. Uh, this is a new channel, this is our first video up. Um, it's, our channel is pretty much for um, jailbreaking and hacks and stuff for about the iPhones, iPods, and iPads. So uh, this is just a video about uh, what's on my iPhone, jailbroken uh, version. So I have the, whoa, whoops, sorry about that. I hit the flashlight but, uh, on accident. So this is iPhone 4 here. 5 version 5.0.1 so this lock screen actually I got from my friend right here it's like a HTC lock screen that, that button's just flashlight and that one's take photo <coughs> so here we go so right here I just have a normal iPhone here I have five icons down on the dock <coughs> and there's Cydia right there it's a little hard to see because I'm not using my normal camera because I don't actually have it on me. So let's start off by going to settings, taking a look at a couple, <coughs> taking a look at a couple of the, uh, <coughs> sorry guys, I'm not feeling too good. Take a look at a couple of the um, settings here I have from Cydia. One of them here I have is Barrel. I don't actually have it used right now, but I can show you what it does. My favorite one is Curl and Roll Away. What it does is it changes the icon so they kind of spin like that. Instead of going, you know, flat, flat across, but I'm actually disabling it for right now. There's a couple other effects that are in there. Okay, so let's go back to settings here. Uh, another one I have is boot logo. If you go into this, you can change, you can pick either you want the normal Apple logo, chronic dev, which is uh, one of the jailbreaking ones that I started off with. And I have a extra jailbreak logo, which just loads up and it looks like you're actually jailbreaking it when you first turn it on. Clock hide. Uh, I'm not sure what that does. One of my friends told me I needed that for the lock screen, so I'm not actually sure what it does. Uh, I have color keyboard here. What it does is you can customize your keyboard. Let's see what else do I got in here. Side delete, which allows you to delete um, Cydia, Cydia uh, apps from the home screen instead of actually going into Cydia, searching for it, or just going under manage sources and then clicking on the one and clicking on modify and hit remove. So it allows you just to delete them straight from the home uh, straight from the home screen. Flash cam is that thing that I showed you on the lock screen. You just push this and then you have a flashlight right out of the uh, flash, obviously. Uh, internalizer allows you to put. Uh, whatever you want on your lock screen. So I wrote jailbreak this apple. And then of course I have winter board. That's about it under the settings. Um, let's take a look at some of the sources I have here in Cydia. Give me one second guys, just letting for this to load up. Okay, I'll go ahead and go under manage. Go under sources. Um, I have a few sources, I don't have too many. I mean, it's a good amount. Um, sorry, you guys can't really see that. And if I turn the camera, it's going to make it worse, because then you guys won't be able to see the video. Uh, one of my favorite ones here I have is Hackylo.us. It's good, because I use this for the installers for it. <coughs> and I have the uh, app sync for 5.0. That way you can sync your cracked apps with um, iTunes. And then one of my uh, best sources I always use is Sinful iPhone Repo. You can't just add Sinful iPhone Repo now because that source doesn't work. The source is, uh, you can't see that, but it's www.sinfuliphonerepo.com. I will put it in the description. Let me try cleaning this for one second, guys. I don't know if that's going to make any better. Probably not. Okay. Let's see. Not really. Okay, and another good one is insanely um, repo dot insanely i dot com. This is a good so uh, city of source. They have a lot of uh, you know tweaks and themes in here. And if you guys are on five point zero point one, um, if you're wanting to know how to, uh, you probably have a tethered jailbreak. Even though it does say untethered, it's probably tethered. If you go to search and you type in, actually, if you go right under. Uh, changes. If you guys don't already have this, it'll probably have it under changes. But I'm gonna go to manage, and I'll just type in so I can get it quicker. You're gonna type in C O R O N A, 
and it should come up with Corona 5.0.1 on Tether. If you guys have other um, sources under Cydia, oh, now it's reloading. If you guys have other sources, you'll get one with a little pink reddish thing right there that you guys see. You're going to want to get the one that looks like the uh, little finder guy on Mac. You're going to click on that. It looks like that little smiley face guy. Like You're going to click on that one. And you're going to click on install right there. I already have it, so it says modify, and you're going to hit confirm. What this does is it untethers your tethered uh, device, so that way you don't you no longer have to boot it with um, Red Snow or whatever you used. You, you just no longer have to boot it from your computer, pretty much, with the cable. Um, that's about it. I do have uh, PDA Net and uh, MyY. It allows you to do tethering internet from your iPhone or uh, iPad. Doesn't work with the um, doesn't work with the uh, iPod, but it does. However, I don't know why it doesn't work with the iPod, but it does work with the iPad. The iPod, because none of them have 3G, but it works with the iPad for some reason. So, and of course, I have install this in SB settings. And um, right down here, I just have a little thing that's called USB drive. You can turn your uh, iPhone, iPod, or iPad into a USB flash drive. And that's basically it for this week's review. Uh, hope you liked. Comment, rate, and subscribe.